Chair recognizes the lady from Jefferson 48 for discussion of the matter. Thank you, sir. Will the gentleman yield to a question? He will yield. Gentlemen, who is the they who came to your office and stated their opinions? Is there a group, an organization? Do they have a name? General from Lincoln. There is a group. And what is the name of the group, please? I'm not breaking that confidence. Lady from Jefferson. Permission to speak on the bill then, sir? Yes, ma'am. I um, understand the appeal of oh, we can just wipe out fraud and that'll save us millions of dollars that's being wasted. And it's a great idea and I wish it was true. But the reality is all of us are sent here to be good stewards of the money of our constituents and of their tax dollars. And that's the perspective that concerns me here. The most recent report I could find from the Office of the Inspector General, which was 2017, estimated that there were about 651,000 Kentuckians um, using, for example, Medicaid public assistance benefits. If we assume a 1% or even 2% fraud rate, that's about 13,000 people, roughly, and I'm not good at math. So let's say that the number is even slightly higher. I appreciate what we got in terms of the fiscal note. It identifies that many of the expenses that will be incurred in this bill if it's passed are unable to be identified, but those that they did identify already equal $22 million. Are we really going to spend $22 million to trace down someplace between 13,000 and 30,000 instances of fraud? Will we recoup over $22 million in benefits? In the last Office of Ex Inspector General report on Medicaid fraud and public assistance fraud benefits in Kentucky, over a three-year period, there were 300 cases I'm sorry, 100 cases of criminal, civil, or settlement re resolutions to fraud convictions. So in a three-year period, 30 people a year, and we're going to spend over $22 million? That seems a poor stewardship of taxpayer funds. Certainly, there has to be a more economic alternative. There are a lot of good parts of this bill but the cost factor is unsustainable and not a good use of our resources. Thank you.